KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. And good evening to you. I'm John Palmentary. Beth and CJ have the night off. Top national firefighting officials have arrived to deal with the Ray Fire in the San Ynez Valley. Water sources are also a concern in the fire zone. It's day number five of the Ray Fire. Once again, heavy smoke and ominous plumes are overhead. Ash is falling on the front country. It's expected to continue for several days. An air quality advisory remains in effect. Here's a look at the map of the fire. It's now at 29,664 acres. Containment at 30%. The best progress has been in the southwest. The open lines are on the northeast above the Gibraltar Reservoir. We spoke with the top Santa Barbara County Public Works official about the risk to Gibraltar, Kachuma Lake, and our water sources from this fire, and what's being done to protect the closest hills. Uh, the sedimentation from the fire can cause water quality issues for the Santa Barbara area. The Ray Fire is still miles away from populated areas, but the risks to local water supplies remain high. The fires extended into the hills near Santa Barbara's Gibraltar Reservoir and the Kachuma Lake watershed. I'm really thankful that the um, that uh, that the uh, incident command team, from almost the beginning, has been very uh, aware of the watershed impacts. And even though we have a drought and an empty lake, the last thing we need to do is fill that lake with sediment. Santa Barbara up. County Public Works and the fire command staff are looking at the maps closely to see where they can pinch off or turn the fire away from hills that run off into the area's primary water supplies. And here. The murky, undrinkable water in the very low reservoir is still valuable against the flames. The nearly drought and dry Gibraltar Reservoir is right in the fire zone. It has some water left in it. It's not drinkable, but it is useful for firefighting. Choppers at the head of the fire are making quick turnarounds and throwing water on many of the hot spots to slow down the Ray Fire. Nearby fire crews are using bulldozers to widen containment lines where they hope the flames will stop. It's entirely in the watershed of Kachuma and Gibraltar, and so there'll be impacts associated with that. Perhaps in a, in a, in a somewhat ironic good news, we probably will see water in the Kachuma this year because when you have a burn of this size, uh, you typically have water runoff a lot faster. And an incident command team with more resources takes control of the Ray Fire at this hour. Santa Barbara County and state fire agencies have battled the Ray Fire for five days. Now the National Incident Management Command Team is taking over. They have more resources and expertise when it comes to complex wildfires. So what our team